them, you'll probably forget your 300th game manager, but not the 301st. No, I don't think I'll ever forget this one. Um, a real contrast of emotions. I'd, it's right up there with the Everton game of last year, where we were really poor for part, first part of the game and came back. I managed to get a point that day. Today, obviously, we get the three points, but at half time we were we were in real trouble. Liverpool were excellent. Um, full credit to them for how they play, played first half. We weren't very good, and they showed their quality. So that makes the the comeback even more impressive because our players never lost their self belief. What does it say about their spirit and commitment that they really kept going? Yeah, I, th I think it's something that we've really tried to protect. For us, when we got promotion from the Championship, it was probably the thing. Above all else, we didn't want to lose our honesty, our togetherness, our never-say-die attitude that had got us into the Premier League. The danger is with recruitment and money and all those other things that, that can potentially harm that, uh, we felt we needed to protect. And I think the most pleasing thing for me, is, along with the points, is the fact that um, today is evidence that we've, we've maintained that spirit. And in fact, if anything, we've harnessed it and that bodes well for the future. He was absolutely magnificent, yeah. I mean, he's, he's, in my opinion, he's trained like that. No one else gets to see it, but obviously we do. He's trained like that uh, for the last three, four weeks. Um, he's been very patient. He's had to wait for his chance. Um, so pleased for him to do it in front of his own supporters. Um, and that'll do him the world of good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, full credit to Ryan because he's a very young player to make a decision in his career and he decided to leave home, come to England, come to a League One club at the time, which was... a uh, a huge leap of faith, really, um, for him and a risk in his career. But um, hopefully it's paid dividends for us and I think he's got a very bright future. Um, as well, in this day and age of big athletic footballers as well, just, I'm going to put up, he's, he's five feet four, is that right? I mean, that's a, he, he's got the odds stacked against him when he, when he goes out there against some of those bigger lads. Yeah, physically, um, that's why we call him the Wee Man. Um, that's his nickname. And I heard the crowd singing his name today, which was really nice um, to hear. Um, but technically, he's excellent. Tactically, he's excellent. Um, he's got fitter and fitter um, since he's been with us. That was one of his, his issues when he first arrived. And yeah, he's, that, that's his uh, potential weakness, but a potential strength for him as well, because he's got a low centre of gravity, uh, manipulates the ball very well, and he can be a tough customer when he's on, you know, on, on form. <laughs> yeah, well, um, you can't have too many small players like that in your team, but uh, in the right position, certainly you can. And he showed his quality. It was a great finish for his goal as well. I think that was that was great to see. Talking of the big men, your two centre backs were influential in around there. Yeah, it depends which ones you call centre backs. Obviously, we made a few changes to our back four today. Um, but uh, Nathan and Cookie initially, I thought. Um, the team struggled against Liverpool's impressive first half performance and then the longer the game went on I thought the more uh, in control we looked and um, yeah credit to our centre halves for how they performed second half. Done. Oh, sorry, can I just ask, um, there was the moment with uh, Jürgen Klopp, Jason Tindall and the, I didn't quite, couldn't quite understand what was going on, there was a bit of an altercation, I'm not sure if it was a Mane I certainly can. There's absolutely no problems between any of their staff and our staff. I've got so much respect for for Jurgen and and his team of people. So uh, absolutely no problems there. But, but what was it over then? If it, I mean, no, I think I think that the issues were more with the the referees, not with each other. With the fourth official and the linesman and the the referee, there was no no problems between us. Oh, okay. Did you get a couple of injuries? Junior looks like a, a serious injury. Yeah. Um, apart from that, I think we're okay. I think yeah, he's rolled his ankle, he felt something, he heard a noise, so that doesn't sound good. Was the Joshua King sub tactical? Yes it was, yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks, Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.